Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, November 15th, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have the Windows 10 Insider Preview that was released yesterday to skip ahead and fast ring a new build, 18.282. And of course it has some new features. If you want to know more, reviews coming up later today. So we'll be checking that out. And uh, in other news, we have uh, the October 2018 update re-released that is going slowly. If you are wondering why you're not seeing it in your Windows updates, it seems that Microsoft is actually pushing it through the website where you can actually go and download the image with the uh, media creation tool or upgrade from that website. But it's not being pushed right now to Windows updates. So that's why no one is seeing the update appear right now um, it's actually we don't really know when they're gonna officially push it through Windows updates of course we're following the situation and we'll let you know as soon as possible well Firefox monitor is apparently a very popular service this is the service that uh, uh, Mozilla is actually giving us the possibility to check out if a website has been uh, breached well they uh, decided that it's going to be integrated into the Firefox Quantum browser now, meaning when you visit a website, if it had a data breach recently, you'll actually know about it. OneDrive might be changing. It seems that Microsoft is looking at the details of changing the OneDrive uh, storage capacity for the free and also for the Office 365 users. So uh, that means that uh, we might actually have more amount of uh, space available in the near future as they are looking at uh, all the options that they're going to push to users. Telltale Games that was uh, really lowering the number of employees. Um, well, it seems that now it's not just lowering the number of employees, it's completely shutting down. It seems that almost everywhere where Telltale games were actually available for sale are now being removed. And a lot of users are sad that a lot of the great games that they made will never have any sequels. Well, um, although we are, of course, in the October 2018 update re-release and that Microsoft has said that they actually fixed pretty much all the problems, well, there is a little hint of maybe something happening still. Um, not with, you know, the data loss, all of that is fixed, but uh, a lot of users that have network drives are complaining that uh, the network drives are broken after the upgrade. So there might be a little something appearing in there uh, as of problems. Well, you always think of people that have cybersecurity or are at the head or the top of cybersecurity, uh, geek computer guys. Well, Japan's new head of cybersecurity has admitted he never used a computer in his life. Which is kind of mysterious that they've put somebody that is clueless about computers at the head of cybersecurity. And he says that he just tells its aides what he wants and to give instructions and what to expect. Um, is it just me or something's kind of wrong here? After Google that uh, used uh, Google Chrome browser to warn of unsecure websites. It seems that Safari, the Apple web browser, will soon also tell you that a website is unsecure. Uh, it seems that uh, this is a feature coming in the next version of Safari and that you'll know when a website is uh, not using HTTPS. Well, the trend is to the notch. It seems that all the major flagship phones from almost any manufacturer in the next year all include a notch. And it is quite interesting because I don't know of anyone that actually finds a notch really nice. And uh, I don't know of anyone that wants a notch, yet all of the manufacturers are going to use a notch, apparently. And this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, November 15, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.